The iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max made their DVO at Apple's annual fall event on Tuesday. From the moment I picked them up in a hands-on area inside the Steve Jobs Theater, I could tell there were some significant refinements compared with previous Pro models. The iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max are made with titanium instead of the stainless steel found on last year's iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max and as a result are noticeably lighter. Lighter. In recent years, Apple used its Pro phones to push the envelope with tech advances while keeping the standard models with the previous year's tech likely to reduce costs and incentivize upgrading to the pricier premium models. That's proved true with the standard iPhone 15 and 15 Plus which get last year's 14 Pro parks. The iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max carry on this tradition and since rumors of an iPhone 15 Ultra were unfounded, these are Apple's most advanced phones yet. The iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max have slightly rounded edges which feels better in hand. Mind you, I had about 30 minutes to try them out in a very crowded demo room but the lightier weight and less bulky feel left a positive impression. The new Pros have thinner bezels for slightly more glass on the front screen which are still 6.1 inches for the iPhone 15 Pro and 6.7 inches for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. As for colors, the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max come in four metallic hues, traditional black and white titanium as well as a blue titanium and a natural titanium with a grey tone. The iPhone 15 Pro starts at US$1,000 while the iPhone 15 Pro Max starts at US$1,199 while the Pro Max is pricier than last year's US$1,099 starting price for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. The new iPhone 15 Pro Max starts at 256GB double as its predecessor's internal storage. Pre-orders for the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max start on Friday and the phones will go on sale in Apple stores and online next Friday, September 22. Now let's talk about design. That's what I said to myself when I picked up the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Thanks to the new titanium design, Apple shrunk the weight from 8.5 ounces on the iPhone 14 Pro Max to just 7.8 ounces on the new Pro Max. And it makes a substantial difference when holding this device. In fact, it's so light, you might decide to upgrade from the 6.1 inch Pro to get the Pro Max's bigger screen. The titanium bands also have a cool brushed metal look to them as opposed to the more ostentatious stainless steel rails on the previous Pro Max. Another plus for the new iPhone 15 Pro Max is that it sports the thinnest border yet on an iPhone, so the 6.7 inch display seems even more immersive. I played around with all the color options, black titanium, white titanium, blue titanium and natural titanium. The blue model pops most but the natural model has more of a futuristic vibe. The iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max ditches the mute switch on previous iPhones for the new action button on the left side. It uses haptics to tell you when you have silenced the phone with a long press but you can perform all sorts of other shortcuts. In the settings menu, you can program what the action button does including launching the camera, the flashlight, voice recorder and magnifier. And you can even customize what the button does via the shortcuts app. My only complaint is that you can't map more than one shortcut at a time. For example, why not launch the camera with one press and flashlight with a double press? So far, I have only taken a few photos with the iPhone 15 Pro Max but at least 
On paper, the new camera system seems very impressive. They are still larger new main sensor and the 48 megapixel main camera offers a new 24 megapixel super resolution default option. Thanks to improvements in smart HDR, portraits now offer brighter highlights and richer colors even in challenging lighting conditions. And I like that you can take portraits without even having to switch to portrait mode. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is smart enough to capture the depth info. The real highlight too is the 5x optical zoom option and 3x optical zoom option at the iPhone 15 Pro made possible via the tetra prism design of the telephoto sensor. I was blown away with how close the iPhone 15 Pro Max could get to Omen way across the field without loss of detail. But we'll be putting this zoom to the test against the Galaxy S23 Ultra which offers a 10x telephoto. The digital zoom on the iPhone 15 Pro Max is 25x versus up to 11x on the Galaxy. Now let's talk about performance. The A70 Pro is the world's first 3 nanometer chip and it means business. Apple is making the biggest noise about the new 6-core GPU which is up to 20% faster and enables harder accelerated ray tracing in games. I had a chance to play Diablo Immortal on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the lighting effects were very dynamic and action quite smooth even with lots of enemies on screen. The CPU inside the A70 Pro is 10% faster and the new Neural engine is up to 2x faster, which can help with features like autocorrect and personal voice in iOS 17. Apple has begrudgingly adopted USB-C for the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max, but I'm still glad it's here. You can now use the same cable for charging your MacBook, iPad, and iPhone, and there's a USB-C charging case coming for the AirPods Pro. The USB-C port on the iPhone 15 Pro Max supports USB 3 and gives you transfer speeds up to 20x faster than before. There's also a new ultra-wideband chip which lets you connect iPhones from longer distance and also lets you find nearby iPhone users that are friends or family when you are in a crowd. The iPhone 15 Pro Max upgrades to Wi-Fi 6C for faster speeds but not the state-of-the-art Wi-Fi 7 standard. A new satellite-based roadside assistance feature will give you peace of mind if you get stuck, which connects directly to AAA.